Hey, what's going on everybody? This is the first video that I'll be actually making here in 2024. Now it'll go out a week or two into actually 2024, but just wanted to say, I hope you and your family and your business have a wonderful 2024 year. Super excited about what we're gonna do together. I consider you a part of my family here in the online universe for supporting me and all the things that we'll be doing here on the Adam McChesney YouTube channel. So if this is your first time watching a video or if you've been watching videos since the beginning, I thank you for being here. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. That way you can get notified each and every Tuesday and Friday when we're launching a new video. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about what can I expect to pay when I'm looking to hire somebody to build me a website in 2024. Now that's a loaded question as many of the questions that I get when it comes to digital marketing because somebody can value their website at what they're building for you at $5,000 and then that same website somebody could sell it for at $500. Now I'll tell you, depending upon how many pages your website actually is and whether you own or rent that website, you're gonna see price tags from a couple hundred bucks all the way up to tens of thousands of dollars. Typically what we will see is you'll see anything from two to five or $6,000 if you're gonna get a standard website, let's just call it an eight page website, that is actually a little bit more than just a single page website and it's not something that's hundreds of pages um, and it's also not something that you're gonna be renting. So. Typically, what I recommend and what I tell people is if it's under $1,000 for more than a couple of a page website, now if it's a landing page and it's $1,000 or under, that's pretty typical. But if you're getting an eight, seven, uh, nine, 10 page website for under $1,000 or even under $2,000, usually a little bit of a red flag. So typically what I tell people is when you're at that $3,000 in a month, you know, or $3,000 one time fee, for a couple of pages on a website, that's typically what you should expect to pay. And then you'll go all the way up for a typical five to 10 page website to $10,000. Now with website builds in general, when you start to get over $10,000, there's usually not anything that's super unique about what you're getting with the overall design. We design a one page website or an eight page website the exact same way that we're gonna design a 100 page website. The difference in the price goes up based on the number of pages because we have to write more content, we have to optimize more pages for SEO, we have to design different pages and things like that and that obviously takes a lot more manpower in order to be able to do that. So a lot of times people will associate, okay, this is a $10,000 website, like the design aspect from that company, it's going to be better then if I pay $5,000, no, in theory, it shouldn't be. You should be getting the exact same type of look and feel, but the difference is in the number of pages. So if you're looking out there in 2024 and you're looking to, to actually buy a website that you own and that you have full control over, I would be budgeting at least $3,000 up to $10,000 for a typical eight to 15 page website that actually is going to get you what you need. Now again, not to say you can't get it for cheaper, not to say that it's not gonna be more expensive, but like if you're trying to go there in the middle, like $5,000 is a pretty good place to budget and know that if you're gonna pay that, you're probably gonna get something that can actually work for you have the foundation to go and do SEO and generate leads and all those different things. But again, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Do you rent it? Do you own it? Is there some sort of a buyout fee? Do you have to do ongoing services on the end of it? Like all of those things, every agency is gonna have their own little bits of like stipulations and things in the contract. So as always, when I talk about websites in general, just make sure that you own the website. Make sure that you understand, hey, this is what I'm getting for when I'm paying for X, Y, and Z amount when it comes to the overall website build, and then you'll be good to go. But anything under one or $2,000 for especially like an eight page website is usually a little bit of a red flag. Anything higher than 10 grand for an eight page website, usually a little bit of a red flag. Not to say that it's not good, because clearly they're selling it that way for a reason, but it's just a little bit overboard. Anytime you're paying over 10 grand, you should be getting 15, 25, 30 types of pages 
um, in your overall website. And typically what we recommend is at least getting started with an eight page website. You can always add more pages on when it comes to things like search engine optimization. So I hope this video helped you kind of understand what you need to be budgeting for when you're trying to go and get a either your first website in 2024 or a website redesign. But this should give you a good idea of what you can anticipate and what you should budget for. So thank you very much for watching today's video. We'll see you next time and appreciate your support.